So we are here. Um, apparently there is a dinosaur exhibit. Uh, you can see that dino over there. Yeah. Uh, we were here a few years ago. Was this here when we were? No. Okay. Yeah. So let's see. Let's see what there is. Hello. I'm the Zwick sisters. Daddy. Right here's me. Yes, he took over the camera. I took it over. I am in control. Here's on video. Ah! Wait, is this on video? Because when you yes, control the camera, video. you control information. No. We are in the zoo now, and I have control over... And I have control over the camera again. Uh, I got new sunglasses. Yes. It's on selfie mode. Oh, I got new sunglasses. See? I remember Madeline was like, Hey! Yes, I did. Anyways, um, yeah, there's nothing interesting here yet, but we're going to get to some other exciting stuff. Behind us is a dinosaur. It looks like a pterodactyl. It's not bird, Grandma. Is it a raptor? What? Looks it's like a pterodactyl. Uh, it has the name right. The name's over here. I don't know my dinosaur, so I. Oh, it shows me how to pronounce it. Good. I would get it all wrong if it didn't. It's called a Quetzalcoatlus. Quetzalcoatlus, and it's from the Jurassic period. And it's a meat eater, and it is thirty-five feet. Wide. That's really big. And it was in the North American Midwest. That's where we're there. from. And where we. Y'all turn around. We're not really in the Midwest. No. So I have a tip. When you come to the Louisville Zoo or any um, zoo that is in the. Uh, what What's it called again? The Zoological. Where, yeah, the. Yeah, something like that. Whatever. It's it's like the Zoo Association yeah, of the United States. And if you was born here. Um, if you have an annual pass to one of those, you will get a discount if you come to any other zoo that is in that in that association. So I'm gonna flip the camera around. So here are are these. What are these man on? Bongos. So these are bongos. Um there that one is really big over there. That must be the baby, the one in the water. It's so cute. So that one's like really big. That man, that one over there it's really yeah. big. There's only three, unless there's one hiding behind the Yeah. Can you tell everyone what an EED is? Environmental enrichment device. Okay, can you point it out? Why do you have environmental enrichment device? It helps animals learn. Yeah, it's like a toy for them. But it also helps them learn. You see that green thing over there? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so what kind of animal is this? Right over here, Saharan addicts. They're critically endangered. Wow. Yes, they are critically, this, the addicts is critically endangered. Oh, there's a butterfly thing over there. Do you want to go into the butterfly thing or do you want mm -hmm. to continue on? I love butterflies. I had one land on me yesterday at the um, other place. The, the statue place, which was really cool. Is that good luck? I said at the Pyramid Hill that we went to yesterday. I said there there's... That's stroller parking, Daddy. What? And this is the entrance right here. Yeah, that's exit only. That's exit only, Madeline. Okay, so here's some plants and stuff. Oh, we did? Yeah, but it's fine. We already are right here. Oh, there's an exit. Yeah. Thank you for your service, sir. Oh, thanks. I appreciate it. Welcome guys, we ask you guys to stick to the right side. Please watch your set and please not touch any of the butterflies or flies. Thank you.
Whoa, this is real this is a really pretty area. I recommend if you are ever in Orlando during the Epcot's um, Flower and Garden Festival, I recommend you go to it. They have a butterfly exhibit, and it's really cool. It's a lot bigger than this one. I don't think they have it anymore. I think it was just for Flower and Garden. No, I said for Flower and Garden. There's another dinosaur over there. There's I found another dinosaur. butterfly up there, and there's some fruit for them. Because they take the pollen, I, or something like that. These are really. He is absolutely beautiful. I've never seen that kind of bird. Here are some butterflies. That one is really pretty. And there's a monarch. It looks like. See, it's over there. It's, it's taking the pollen. I'm hoping that one will land on me. Whoa, so. It was so close to my face. Madeline? Yeah. Do you have anything you want to say about this butterfly exhibit? Um. I really think it's really pretty and really mm -hmm. cool. I love butterfly exhibits. Me too. I told everyone about the one at Epcot during the Flower and Garden. I want a butterfly to land on me. I know. So. This right here behind me, I think it's a place where they have, um, and because, see, there's like a cage that where there are like things where there are cocoons where, um, like can attach to. I'm gonna flip the camera back around so that way you can see other things. I think we're leaving. We're leaving the butterfly exhibit. It's really pretty. I really, really like it. Um, there's some more butterflies out here, but not a lot. I wanted one to land on me, but it didn't happen, so. Yeah. Behind me is the elephant exhibit. Um, they're our grandma's favorite, aren't they? Absolutely. Yeah. They're very a, smart. It's an African elephant and an Asian elephant. Asian yeah. elephants have a bump on top of their head. Oh. A large dome. Africans yeah. are flatter. There's one all the way back here, back there. Then there's one over there. The one over there has a baby. Yeah, I'm going to turn the camera around so that way you can see the baby. So the mama is kind of blocking the baby, but you might be able to see the tail a little bit next to the baby. Can't really tell, but there's the other elephant in case you didn't really see him before. Okay, so we're going to move on. Um, Madeline, what is your favorite thing about the elephants? Uh, they're big floppy ears. They're not really floppy, but... I just think they're cute, you know? I said they're floppy! Not uh, floppy. Ask Elliot the difference between African, uh, the African and Asian elephants. Okay, Elliot! Elliot! Can you tell everyone what the difference between the African and Asian elephants are? Well, um, they live in two different places. What else? What about their ears? Um, um, African elephants have bigger ears to help them cool down so they can use them as big fans. Interesting. So what kind of elephant is that? In the back. Good job. They have tiny, um, Asian have tiny. are the camels. Can't tell if you can see them because the lighting's kind of bad. Yeah, the first So behind me, there's the camel. We're not sitting here for 40 minutes. Maybe if we walk that way. Behind me, there are some camel. There's a camel. No, I'm not worried about the money. It's seven dollars. And that is a female. See them. You're see There's another male. There's a female back up in the corner. Yeah. They're just sleeping right now. There's one over there. Yeah. See it? Yeah. I really like lions. They're really cool. As long as I don't have, like, as long as they're not trying to eat me.
You You've actually ever had a lion Stop. trying to eat you? On the next dinosaur. Well, actually, it's, it's two dinosaurs, but they're the same kind. It is called a Pachycephalosaurus. Uh, it's a plant eater. It's 15 feet long. Wait, so this is like its real length. And it was located in Western North, uh, North America. So that's really, really cool. See, and they're like audio animatronics at Disney, so they actually move and make noises. Is them playing the drums. Go! Yes, it is. You can also slide it across. the monkeys um you can see them right behind me um i really like monkeys i think they're really cool how they like are swinging around at you ran on mm -hmm. yeah at animal kingdom i love to like watch them like just swing so i'm gonna flip the camera around so you can see them a little bit better darn, what were you saying darn hiccups um they have this whole area yeah, where they can just swing around, like, and there, there are these, like, hammocks. I don't know if you can see that one. Here, let's walk around. And there are these cool hammocks and, like, trees. On, I assume they're real, don't you? Oh, there's some over there! On that platform. They're red-tailed monkeys. Oh, they are? That's yes. Cool. Oh, yeah. Red-tailed monkeys. Oh, you want to tell us some facts about red-tailed monkeys? It says it right there. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but we want to hear from a real person. Get back here! You know what? It's I'll over. Uh, yeah, Madon can tell it, you. Okay, so the red-tailed monkeys uh, are from East Central Africa. In forest, East Central. And, yeah, right about here. And they live in, in, in forests and tropical rainforests. So that this is supposed to be sort of like a forest or a tropical rainforest. See, there's like mist spraying. I don't know if you can really see it that way, well, but there is mist. There's a fan blowing mist. Yeah, so, I wish I was standing in front of it. Me too, it's hot um, here. So, I'm gonna pour this water on my head. Anyways, they're fruit eaters. Uh, oh, I didn't know that there's a special name for, special name for it. It's called a frugivore. Primary, yeah, they're called frugivores. I never knew that there was a special name for it, did you? Yeah, no, I didn't. No, oh, yeah. yeah. I didn't know if I was going to be pronouncing it right, so I didn't say it. I think it's called a fruit. I think it's pronounced frugivore. Yeah. That's well, like the only way. Uh, that's like uh, the only way I can think to pronounce mm, it. It says primarily frugivores, fruit eaters, and seeds, but can be found, but can be omnivores eating seeds, eggs, insects, small lizards, frogs, etc. Yeah, and so. in the zoo, like right here, or in like other zoos, they eat fruits, vegetables, and other nutritionally bound primate bi biscuits. So, like, I assume they have like that, like protein and whatever in it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But these are for the um, red-tailed monkeys. For the black and white colobus monkeys, monkeys, I don't know how to pronounce that, but I'm just assuming that's how you pronounce it. Yeah, they're found in Central and Eastern Africa in a forest canopy. So they're sort of like in the same area as the red-tailed monkeys, and they eat, um, they are herbivores, which means they only eat plants. Um, they eat the leaves, um, which, honestly, that's very easy to find, so. And they, yeah. de they definitely weigh more than the yeah. red-tailed monkey. And also, um, they, and, but here in the zoo, they eat, do you want to tell everyone what they eat? Leaves, leafy vegetables, fruit, and nutritionally balanced primate vegetables. So like the red-tailed monkeys, I'm assuming it has like other nutrition yeah. that they can't like grow in the zoo because like it's the zoo, it's not Africa. Yeah. So here we have 
the Triceratops. Um, they are from the Cretaceous period. They are plant eaters. Um, they are 30 feet long, and they were in Western North America. Here's a baby one, and I love it. And here is a, tri a Tyrannosaurus Rex, a T-Rex. Um, they are meat eaters, in case you didn't know that. Whoa, it's big. Okay, um, they are 40 feet long, and they are also found in Western North America. And they also lived during the Cretaceous period. So, that's really cool. Um, these are the real sizes. All of the dinosaurs in the zoo are the real size of what they would really be if they were so alive. So we are leaving the Louisville Zoo. Um, we're currently in the car. Yeah, we're in the car on the way to Graders. Um, it's great ice cream. <laughs> so, Madon, do you want to say something? Hi, people! Oh, uh... She told me to say something, not you. I'm uh, gonna stop. Thank you for watch. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Yeah, do yes. it or else. You Elliot. Elliot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> but do you don't have to? I mean, please do. But you don't don't take Elliot's threat seriously. <laughs> oh, do I will take it seriously? Okay, okay. Please get out of my face. Okay, so bye. Bye. Bye, people. Grandma's oh. saying bye.